Hello and good morning, everybody. Oh, Cricket. Cricket's camera's still on today. <laughs> How's everybody doing on this fine Friday? We are uh, going to do something fun, interesting, and exciting just for today. Welcome, EOD Distant, Arthur, Otto, Brutal Days. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone's doing okay today. I have something fun. It's for the people who tune in right at the start and are ready to go. Digital Wisdom, Jeff, hello, hi, hope everybody's doing great. I'm gonna open this composter pack and uh, give away a legendary composter, I guess, to the first uh, whoever happens to be here at the start of the stream. Of course, we're just banging off the, the greatest luck you've ever seen uh, starting off the stream here today. Um... <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll just do a little giveaway to start us off. No big deal. It's fine. Nobody say anything. Shush, shush. It's fine. <laughs> Shh. Maybe don't, don't tell any... Don't, don't tell your friends. You know, there's only the small giveaway of the people who happen to be here at the beginning. Yeah, yeah, a little giveaway. A little giveaway to start the stream. All right, custom legendary composter. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, okay, you got two minutes to get your name in, uh, for a legendary composter, I guess. That is hilarious. Um, okay, exclamation mark. <laughs> hey, Jumpgate, we're doing a quick little, we're doing a minor giveaway to start the stream. I figured we'd flip open a composter pack, just get that given out to whoever happens to tune in at the very beginning today. And of course, uh, streamer luck is streamer luck, and we open a legendary composter to start the stream, just with whoever happens to be here. Oh man, you guys. <laughs> just too funny. Of course we are rocking all of the coolest merch, uh, rocking the In Dusk We Trust t-shirt today, as well as the Million on Mars. Get the big cup, get the big mug, it's the good mug. <laughs> Good day to tune in at the start. <laughs> Exclamation mark raffle puts your name in the draw with a chance to win. You do have to be following the channel. And we have Cricket hanging out with us today as well. Hey, Cricket. Yeah. She uh, She's pretty calm this morning. Had enough food. She's ready to go. I love it. <laughs> Best odds you'll ever have. Happen to tune at the beginning. <laughs> All right, where else are we going? Yeah, I mean we're just uh, we we also had this. This was the planned giveaway, an epic meta shield recipe. Um, we'll be giving that away at the end of today. What are we chatting about today? We're going to be talking about like new buildings and a few other things that are going on. Uh, we have a lot of new buildings coming, so we're going to dig into as many of those as we can. Uh, see what we've got going on. What is... Oh, that's just the alternate. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it'll let you know when it's up. Exclamation mark raffle puts your name in the ch in the thing and the chance to draw. You all know the words. You, you've all been here enough. <laughs> there you go. All right. Congrats to the people who happened to be tuning in to the start of the stream today. Yeah, raffle for everyone who happened to tune in, and it happens to be a legendary composter. We got very lucky with our draw, and uh, yeah, great job everyone who tuned in early. So between those 13 people who were here at the very beginning when the stream launched and we popped open a legendary composter right away, congratulations to Arthur, a legendary composter for Arthur. All right. Congrats, buddy. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Starting off with a bang today. It was just, it was supposed to be like a little giveaway to start the stream, like a nice thank you for happening to tune in, but uh, that's, that's how streamer luck goes, I guess. <laughs> oh, 
All right. Uh, so lots of our regular stuff that we're doing. We're still talking about some of this stuff for any new players, for anyone who happens to be tuning in and joining us from uh, Polygon and wondering how the game works and getting into some of the new stuff. So we're doing some higher level stuff here with like ground control stations and Vulcan Metalworks. This is probably not stuff new players need to worry about. But um, some of the basics that we do on a regular uh, for ourselves are charging solar panels or charging power cells, sorry, in our solar panels. So we have all of these, we run around and we collect all of our batteries. Should, yeah, okay, 70 power cells is enough to trigger a little pop up there. And then we charge the power cells here using uh, our Martisans personally. Oh, we need to feed them though. So we have lots of Martisans in here and we feed them the same way that we eat food with food and water. And then we use their stamina to charge power cells. So charging power cells is using our stamina, using that empty cell and getting our full cell back. What is the kitchen that we're talking about? Yeah, we'll dive into it a little bit. <clears throat> Um, I don't know that we'll be able to showcase too much, but we'll be able to talk about at least like the rarities and uh, some of that kind of stuff. Maybe some sizes. We know some of this stuff is already planned and is coming for sure, so that would be like the um, uh, the seed vending machine. Hey! That's cool. People crafting buildings are now popping up. Oh, right. Uh, I suppose we're not going to see any of that if we have Cricket uh, turned on. Cricket likes covering up the good news radio up there. Vending machines are really confusing. Is that going to be the only way to sell things or will they stay in the market? Why is a machine better than the market? So, digital wisdom. This is why we absolutely made a video on this so it's uh, a little bit clearer to the people who are curious. So... The vending machine's primary purpose and biggest use case is going to be for large player guilds who want to distribute seeds either at a discount or for free to their user base. So you have one central person who makes everything and they hand out a bunch of stuff. So seed seed vending specifically, but tool vending, you, you know, all of them could be the same idea. Um, <clears throat> so it's a lot of work to send out... Um, to send out, say, a thousand players to do all those inbox messages, to send all those tools to all of your different players. And the vending machine just gives them a central location to come and collect their tools, their seeds, what have you, uh, and saves the guild leader a fair bit of work. Now, some players might find other methods of setting one up and selling them publicly and like undercutting the market, encouraging people to come buy tools at their machine or seeds at their machine. <laughs> But um, those are, you know, some areas for player exploration to figure it out. Yeah, we'll hit Rusty Rigs a couple times here. So if you're new and you're tuning in, we do try and press this button. We have not won yet in 2023, but maybe someday. <clears throat> we would never undercut the market, yeah. Um, yeah, so we're hitting our Rusty Rigs there. We should be eating some food to regain some stamina. Yet yeah, Rusty has never paid us out this year <clears throat> in the in the past um definitely did pay us out a fair bit yeah a raffle did already happen for anyone who's tuning in a little bit later um we did do a raffle at the very start of the stream today w will there be another vending machine another machine like vending so there's going to be vending machines for a number of different things, yes. So, um, starting off with lots of the basics and then working our way up. So starting with like, uh, tools and seeds is now coming and then, you know, maybe like metals or gases, like it's going to work its way through most of the resources to be able to have those vending machines. And the main purpose is the distribution through your settlement, but other use cases might be found. Um, what else? What we're going to talk about? So, seed vending machine is the next one that's coming. Ah, yes, anyone tuning in, collect your chapters. This is another thing to be doing. Hit complete all. Get all of your research papers there. 
Bummer problem with seed vending is you can buy a single seed from the market, unlike tools, so their use case is less. Seems limited to distributing seeds to a settlement at reduced cost. Yes, but unlike tool vending, uh, Brutal Days, there is no seed degradation in the seed vending machine. So if you put all your seeds in your seed vending machine, they will not, uh, they will not degrade over time like your tools do. We're going to have guilds at 1k player sizes. I am not a, uh, I, I'm like, I'm personally probably not going to manage a guild that size because I have enough going on already. I would love to try, but that's probably a little bit too large for me, but absolutely guilds of that size. Uh, yeah, yeah. What are we at right now? Like, I'm happy with the size that I'm currently managing, and the community seems pretty rad. I don't think I'm over 100. Yeah, yeah, we're at 79 right now, and I, I love the group. It will be capped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caps are coming to guild sizes. But, I mean, the same same case applies. Sending messages to 100 people to distribute all your stuff every single day is still also incredibly time-consuming, right? <clears throat> no seed... No seed degradation seems counterintuitive to tools. So it will exist in a different form. Um, so if, uh, do we have the things here where we can look at them and talk about it? Not quite yet. We have our regolith warehouses in here. We have, aha, we do. Seed vending. There it is. Yes, yes. Hello, Cell Power. Welcome, welcome. So, seed vending is coming. Uh, so, we store our seeds in here. We use, we can sell packs of seeds to people who are looking to purchase them. So, uh, you put in 10% more seeds than it requires to... Um, and this is all known for anyone who watched the uh, the video that came out about this. All this information's all out, all out there. Um, yeah, I really like the buildings consuming one power slowly, so you you just keep refilling it. But your recipes in that building don't take power is kind of an interesting mechanic. Yeah, people love people also like saying power hour. Um, so yeah, say seed sowing for uh, let's say soy seeds costs you thirty seeds, right? So you deposit 33 seeds, 10% more, into your vending machine. Somebody pays you for those 33 seeds and receives a pack of seeds, which will give you a range, usually with the average being the 30 that you would get, uh, and then 10% high or low. So we still lose a little bit of seeds in the process. That's the, that's the plan. That's what things are supposed to do. But rather than degrading over time just by sitting there, it is when the people make the purchase. <clears throat> Yep, yeah, uh, market fees still apply, uh, but that rental fee does not, I've, we've made sure that that's not tacked on there, that like 5.5 flat fee or whatever it was. Um, yeah, so seed vending machines, coming soon. <clears throat> uh... All right. <clears throat> uh, so that is seed vending machines. Regolith warehouses are something that has launched since the last stream that we want to talk about. <clears throat> um, so our regolith warehouses have a couple different things to chat about. <clears throat> uh, we failed our roll. <clears throat> Excuse me. Suffering a little bit today with a bit of a sore throat there. Uh, size of our vending machine is 10, so same as our, our other vending machines, so you could place more if you need to. But uh, this initial vending machine holds all the basic seeds. Um, if you want to see all the exact ones, you could pop open the YouTube video, and you'll see them all in there. Uh, but Regolith Warehouse came out since last stream, so we will chat about this. So, uh, the warehouse receives one warehouse capacity token uh, for every 10,000... Or sorry, one capacity token as long as the storage is at or above 
90%, I believe. Uh, so if it's at full capacity, it'll build one warehouse token every uh, eight hours, and then you can spend your three tokens on acquiring a warehouse shard with a 50-50 chance. And when you fail, you will get soil and a chance at something else. <clears throat> And as you upgrade your warehouse, uh, the something else in that roll becomes better. So for example, at level 3 here, we have a chance of getting copper instead of soil. And at level 3 specifically, it's also a slightly better than 50-50 chance. So we put a lot of our warehouses on 3 here. Can you sell the shard? Absolutely! The 50-50 chance hates me? Yeah, it's really funny to listen to... Like, some people are on, like, 2 out of 13 rolls, and some people are on, like, 10 out of 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> cell, cell power. I would also say players getting access to the GDE has resulted in a lot more uh, player engagement. Hey, there we go. <laughs> And um, players being able to solve more problems by going and looking at the data themselves. Yep, very slightly better odds in here. So, you know, three chances at 52%. <clears throat> hey, there we go. And getting a few will actually pop up in the corner there. So that's pretty rad. Uh, I'll put a little bit of power into here. And a little bit of power in here. And we use Martisans to trigger all of these because they are expensive tasks to be spending 25 stamina on. Is it planned to sell land directly on the map in-game? I suppose that the site on the map will be circled in red, marked for sale. You click it and can pay for dusk. Um, <clears throat> I don't know about in Dusk or any of the other things you mentioned, but yeah, I think eventually an in-game market is a thing to work towards. Uh, I don't know about a timeline or um, even it being on the roadmap, but it is something that has been talked about, yes. How do we get these leveled up already? I bought shards on the market. <clears throat> Went to the market, paid people for their regolith warehouse shards. Right there. Yep. Just buy a bunch of these. I want to get them all to level 3 for that slightly increased chance. <laughs> the, like, 2% better or whatever. <laughs> yep. Yeah, uh, we're working our way there. Don't worry. So yeah, other buildings are coming, but they're not ones that I personally worked on, so I don't know as much about the depth behind them. So the Regolith Warehouse, uh, I think we've talked about basically everything. Oh, so the long-term goal with these for anyone who owns them is to get them upgraded to level 10, and then they have a task that will give you Dusk uh, regularly for upgrading them that much. 3.3k power cells and drops power into the warehouse. Yeah, we need power in the warehouse in order to uh, run the tasks. If the power is at zero, we can't run the tasks. When did the chances go up for, per level? Magic Mike, they didn't. Uh, there's like a slight miscalculation in exactly level 3 warehouses that results in a 2% chance, uh, like 2% increased chance at exactly level 3. <laughs> and... I like that players found this and got excited about it, so rather than say, like, it's a mistake, we'll put it back to 50%, it's a, you know, there you go, it's a thing that players found and, and can use. 2% <laughs> <Two percent> chance. <laughs> um, one power cell like you, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. EOD, um, we only put one power cell in because you only need power to be above zero. So when I want to use the building, I drop my one power cell in there rather than filling it up and letting it drain all... Oh, like, if I forget about it for a few days, I don't want all my power to drain out of the building, so I just put power cells in when I need to use them. <laughs> um, 
Five times in a row, only got soil. Is 50% working? Yeah, it's really funny to see the range of luck on these things. Yeah, if you fill these up and then you forget about them, um, which I tend to do, like, I might end up going on a work thing for, like, a week, and I'm not here, I only check it on stream, and then all of a sudden I've drained, like, a bunch of power for no reason. <laughs> yep, tips and tricks. Okay, um, so yeah, those are the two buildings that I know the most about, so the Regolith Warehouse and any of the vending machines. So vending machines are coming... Uh, more of them in different types. Uh, we're just gonna run around and just reset some of these uh, smelters that we had going. So we're just slowly building up um, mining XP with like these cheap one stamina smelt crystal tasks. And uh, eventually we'll be leveling up our stuff. It's early this week. Actually, daylight savings time happened. Um, so depending on where you are in the world, uh, your time may not have changed, but my time did. And so <laughs> that's why we always use the Discord timestamps to let people know. How much dust could you potentially get from the warehouse? Uh, that's for people to discover when they level it up to 10. <clears throat> um, but it's sort of still seeing some balance and once like once those numbers are finalized we'll be a little more public about what you get at level 10 um still tooling and toying around with what's happening at that level um what else oh yeah so we we're gonna talk about uh we're we're currently working on training all our different skills and once we get some of these maxed out my goal which i think would be really funny is to get to the point where Nothing is available in my training hall for me to train. So get this to 99, this to 99. Scavenging to 200 is probably going to be the biggest uh, effort. Fabrication, uh, once it's 149, will go away right now. Uh, yes, yeah, some time changes happened. Everyone very confused about time changes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's something that's going on. So the other buildings that I'm not as aware of, but I will talk about a little bit, would be the do -do 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 game announcements. Here we go. Uh, can I just, like, bring all this up somewhere? No? Uh, da -da -da -da. We could switch briefly. Can we read more here? Do this? No. Uh, this. There we go. All right. So here's a whole pile of stuff um, that we wanted to just have a look at. So this is the seed vending machine sales. Those will be coming. We can see that one of them has already appeared, but we will have more coming at two different time slots. Um, but this, this is the big thing with uh, the event that is coming. So things that will be available in Matic or Glitter or Wax or Dusk. So all different uh, things. Yeah, we're gonna. This is what we're talking about. Jay uh, cooking. Mainly because time changes don't make sense. Wish the world would stop with that stuff. Oh, me, me as well. One hundred percent. Digital wisdom. Our training uh, in the training hall. Once you max out a skill, it goes away. And so we have a number of skills. Uh, electrical can't go past 149 right now. Skills can't go past 99 if you've already specialized in other things. So they stop appearing once you max them out. Um, but just to talk about a few more things in the Discord here. So we have this event that's coming <clears throat> uh, where we will have clover seeds so we can grow clovers in our warehouse. <clears throat> We can acquire different recipes, buying the cooking packs, chemistry packs. And we can set up our commissary kitchen. So we will be able to cook a number of different things in our commissary kitchen. What do we think about putting a duration on the stored regolith in the warehouse? A duration on the stored regolith. Um, I am unclear exactly what you mean. Uh, can we buy multiple polygon launch boxes, or is there a cooldown later today? Uh, that I'm not aware of. 
Uh, not too tuned in on exactly what's going on with that one yet. Yep. Oh man, they're coming. They're coming soon though. I have no Matic. I need to figure that out pretty soon. <laughs> um, really appreciate the two time slots and putting in the shop with a timer. Really helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is a huge thing that we pushed for after uh, the launch of the Regolith Warehouse and listening to player feedback is these different sales at different times with parity between them. So they all cost the same thing and they all launch at different times so that lots of people have a chance to get each one. Grow clover seeds in the warehouse, can you explain? Yes, okay, so we will talk a little bit about what's going on here. So, uh, where is this? Da, 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 da. I will talk about it in just a second once I find a document to talk about it. So, a large number of things are coming. Um, we will be having... Da, da, da. There will be basically like 17 new items uh, related to this event uh, that we'll be able to craft and use uh, uh, clovers for. Uh, we'll be heading to our greenhouse to be planting clovers to get us started. Uh, we will be turning those clovers into a number of different things, including... Uh, yeah, just like a whole bunch of different stuff. Is it a St. Patrick's Day event? Well, clovers are coming. <laughs> um, so the commissary kitchen, though, this is the, the main thing I want to talk about for this, is that the commissary kitchen is not just a event-specific building. So it's going to have, it's going to be available after the event. Lots of the things during the event will be sticking around and will be used for the cooking skill moving forward. So if you're interested in cooking as a thing that you want to level up, this is definitely an event to participate in because likely we'll have, you know, higher XP rewards and like good things relating to cooking tied into this event. Um, I can say a good overlap will be coming with chemistry as well because we did see uh, chemistry recipe packs are one of the things that are included. So in our chem labs, uh, we'll be doing a number of things tied into cooking. So we need to be making, I think actually players might, might even be able to see a lot of this stuff, right? Um, in the here, yeah, here we go. Look at all this. This is findable on the marketplace. It's public, we can talk about it. So ammonia is coming, baking soda, distilling water, ethanol, Irish, coffee, green smoothies, soda bread, green dye, so all these latest things. So um, some of these will be made in the chem lab if they're more chemicals, so like ethanol, ammonia, that kind of thing. Are those event recipes or here to stay? Some will stay and some will be for the event. Um, as with most things, you can probably say the specifics like smoothies and soda bread and Irish coffee like these are event related things where some of these more basic ingredients like ethanol distilled water baking soda ammonia these are likely going to be things sticking around to be used in cooking right wondering if your shop looks as weird as mine uh, couldn't tell you cell power uh, here's what our shop looks like though um, we can sort by currencies we can look at different things uh, we were just poking around in here earlier. Um, but if you're ever having issues, I, I do this. Just do a quick reload and pop back in and see if things are doing okay. If, any, if anything ever gets messed up on you. <clears throat> Lucky green smoothie, add ethanol and you have beer. <laughs> uh... I don't think pouring ethanol into a drink makes it beer. <laughs> <clears throat> it is an interesting solution, though. Um, we do continue to try and keep our power cells going. <clears throat> uh, 
and we were on this Martian or Martisan training program where we were trying to get all of our Martisans up to um, level 50 electrical, but then we did pick up three new ones down here. So it's going to be a bit of a climb. We did have everybody up to 50, and now we've got three more that we need to train from scratch. Green dye plus beer is green beer. That sounds a little more promising than adding ethanol to a smoothie. <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Um, so yeah, we saw those recipes are all on here. Are the items in here yet? That'd be another thing to check. Like, are green smoothies or... Uh, we have the recipe, we have the recipe. Okay, so not like... The items themselves haven't, uh, haven't populated in here, but... Green smoothie, green dye... Oh, these are fun too. Some new packs there. <laughs> Poking around the market, seeing what else has, uh, this is always a good, good spot to come and check and see what's popped up in here. Oh, you know what we haven't done that we've been meaning to do is actually spend our research credits that we've been using. Can we get that recipe in the chem promo? Yeah, so the idea is, uh, if you have a look over at the Discord post, we have those chemistry recipe packs, the cooking recipe packs, and those will be what where you can acquire those recipes. Um, you'll also be able to do the whole event just buying and growing clovers if that's the route that you want to take, I believe is the idea. Um, that one I'm a little less confident on because I'm, I'm not too engaged with all that. Cannot decide what I want to special on later, such a struggle. Yeah, I mean, we just kind of picked a few things that we had a lot of experience in and went with it. Uh, right, so we've been meaning to go find the, uh, not profession research, library research. And actually spend some of these credits, because we built up a fair number. So we know we're going to need a hopper. <clears throat> Crafting Velociraptor engines is not the factory itself, so we do need to know how to do this. Like, we've got 500 credits, and it still doesn't feel like enough. <laughs> Making me sleepy with your angelic voice. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I wouldn't say uh, the laugh is not the most angelic, but uh, I appreciate the comment. <laughs> I always love when Million pops up. What a bop. Um... We can pick up the launch pad. That that's a pretty cheap, like fifty credits for this. I can't remember if I picked up hardened tiles. I think these are all these are all one purchase, right? So, uh, I think we're gonna want a hopper. These are tough. Don't need this. Don't need this. So four fifty. I'm just hesitant to to start grabbing them. Cheaper to buy a launch pad on the market than 50 credits. Uh, well, yeah, we could just go poking around and looking at schematics, right? Buy, just buy like the hanger, the launch pad. Yeah, I mean, this is people spending their 50 credits and then just reselling their launch pads. <laughs> Seems crazy to me, but. <clears throat> and the engine factory is also really cheap. Those are nuts. Who's who's selling these schematics so cheap? Schematic. There we go. Engine factory? Like. Yeah, give me one of those. Oh, do we not? <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's, uh, that's not the way, right way around. <laughs> getting it from a vet. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. I don't... It doesn't bother me how people are getting them. I'm, uh... I'm just trying to save up credits, right? Yeah, yeah, people can get them from in here and from doing all these different things, and then they just resell them, because... Yeah, I don't know. Get your schematic... But there's, they're limited in, in the amount of them that exist, right? Same as Regolith Warehouse. Like... When there's only ever a thousand of a building, you want to prioritize collecting that building, right? Uh, now we're running very low on Dusk. Uh, 
we probably should sell off some of our power cells, honestly. We have a whole ton of these kicking around. Like, I don't need 3,000. I could probably sell, like, a 1,000 of these for four and a half. Just leave those on the market for whoever needs them. <laughs> How are we so dusk broke? Oh, we just, we bought a lot of, like, regolith warehouses. I feel like I bought a lot. I bought vending machines as well. And then I just haven't set it up. I do have a tool vending machine and, uh, like, a lot of shards to go with it. And I just haven't plugged all that together. <laughs> I mean, I could resell the tool vending shards for people who want those. I was planning on setting it up, and then I just... I don't have time. <laughs> uh, I don't know. What are these? They're like 2,000 if you buy them in packs. So if people want them for like 1,500, they could have them, I guess. Because I only need a level 1... I realized after I bought the shards that I only needed level one to support the like hundred people that I would have, right? Stamina sword shortage, increase the ways to get stamina. Many buildings are on rest the whole day. Uh, there are ways to increase your stamina. Purchase Martisans. How do I unlock that game in the tournament? Which game are we talking about? Do you mean Houston Arcade? This is one where you unlock different games. Be, be a little more specific, we could help you out. Oh, man. Uh, this one started again, and I totally forgot to even participate last time. Whoops. Probably should have done that. <laughs> Doesn't that mean another, another schematic of each of these went out to somebody? I was not paying enough attention there. I'm already entered. Okay, sure. Um, we're done with the level up. That's true. The Duskworks Landing. This one? Uh, what, what's your question about this one? Just let me know. I don't know what unlocking a game in it means. <clears throat> uh, Koopy, that's the first time I'm hearing of that. I would just uh, raise it up in the Discord and see if anyone is encountering the same thing. Uh, we're going to continue just sprinting around, collecting power cells. I do find it funny that like me grabbing my daily regular power cells is like... Everybody needs to know what I'm doing. Uh... I, I think it should for my giant batches of, like, 200. I think those are fun. I don't see them in my tournament page. Uh, have you gone to Duskworks Landing before? So, if you've never been, uh, you click the metaglyph symbol here at the bottom actually go to Duskwork Landing and check it out. Yeah. Um, there's also some mission chains here. I really should go do the rest of this, actually. We could do this on stream. So, yeah, we have the Duskworks introduction. We have this one. Um, now we'll make our way through this. So we actually haven't gone to Halba on, um, on, this, uh, on, on our actual account here yet. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Halba and we're gonna check out uh, one of the habitats admittedly uh, a little bit difficult if we uh, we don't have images turned on I think they're on by default though so like that's fine bum <laughs> All right, so power cell charging is like over here. Oh, we have no stamina. <laughs> All right, working our way through the tutorial. <clears throat> uh, yes, you have to do the mission chain. So 
pop open your thing and work your way through the mission chain. Uh, are we collecting three power cells? Is there another solar panel? Just these ones? Sure. Uh, will there be a chance to change specialization? Yes, despecialization is a thing. Uh, we, I guess we need to collect one more. That's on cooldown. That's on cooldown. <laughs> it's what, like 10 seconds? There we go. All right, so now we need to clean the habitat so we could do mission actions or we could do quick actions. So we could just do things here. Is it intended that you pay for the missions in the habitat? No, those should be disabled. If not now, then soon. <clears throat> uh, we have, so that's the same way the seed and the tool vending machine also shouldn't be doing that, right? <clears throat> uh, so you can only do this one every five minutes. So it's going to take us a little while to clean the habitat. So we'll just do what we can here. And then come back. to we hit the minimum on this one? Despecial yeah, despecialization will be coming. <clears throat> uh, yes. Um, if you are trying to take an action that has... Uh, the potential to gain you stamina. Your stamina has to be below the maximum in order for you to uh, complete that action. So that includes any of the actions in uh, in any of the menus. So anything in here. Uh, if you're at max stamina, you wouldn't be able to take any actions. Same with anything in a building. So like a pirate radio that gains you stamina. Um, you wouldn't be able to do that. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, there you go. Should should get you sorted there and on your way. Um, so cleaning the habitat here doesn't take us too long. <clears throat> Little bit longer there. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend for anybody, new player, experienced player, basically anyone, work your way through anything that comes up in our mission chains. Any of these are just going to be really good, uh, really beneficial to work your way through. And yeah, doing all of these are pretty straightforward. They're just going to walk you through where all the buildings are in um, in Duskworks Landing. And uh, Halba Outpost just has other similar mission quests, but mostly for newer players. But, you know, anybody could do them. Done? 20? Ah, oh, 12. Okay, almost done. Oh, it looks like Cricket has returned. Cricket does, in fact, take the place of uh, Good News Radio, but uh, I think she's okay. I think she's a little more exciting as she lays there and does nothing. <laughs> All right, one more sweeping of the floor and we should be done cleaning. So yeah, working our way through everything going on over at Halba to show people basically how all of this goes. We probably should enable, um... okay, so we need to get tools, we need to head to the machine shop, and the machine shop is crab workshop located near the habitat, and we're going to look around and find some stuff and go back. So we need to hit all of these things in order to keep going. <laughs> Have we trained her to say what Good News Radio is broadcasting? Yeah. I mean, she's doing a pretty good job, right? It would be kind of funny to pop up a little speech bubble, like put Cricket like a little bit down, and then have like the Good News Radio stuff like in a little thing above her. <laughs> a couple rolls of wire here. So we just need to get lucky uh, pulling one of each of the things that we need. Or more than one. We need... A couple rolls of wire and a lubricant and a and a thing okay well we'll dig into that 
in just a little bit. What we wanted to do was also show people what this looks like when your default settings are in fact turned on. Where, oh yeah, you can, also I know a lot of players are asking, but yeah, you can disable good news radio now, if that's a thing. Push notifications are here. Um, we will turn on building previews so that we can see Halba Outpost as it's intended to be seen. So we can see those uh, uh, habitats there. We can see our solar panels that we could go to. The machine shop is where we're going to do a lot of the stuff that we're doing for this mission. That's what this is talking about. Uh, I know we've gotten some rolls of wire, so this should be populating, right? Where's our inventory? Where's our where's our resources and our items? Uh, when rover when are rover missions returning? So, uh, for anyone who wasn't aware, rover missions were disabled due to um, an issue with the the rovers not not happening. Oh, excuse me, not happening properly. Um, but it will let people know when it's coming. Uh, yeah, there we go. Some rolls of wire there. That's fine. Oh, we have some wrapped glitter to unpack, too. That's cool. Ah, yeah, okay. So we're still digging for a little bit more here. Oh, yeah, we did. We finally collected all the parts we needed. So we have our one hopper frame, one nose cone, and four hopper legs, as well as this test station. So I think we're pretty much ready to go there. An iron lockbox is in fact sitting in our inventory, which is very exciting, because that could be our giveaway at the end of the stream. Um, if I search for, uh, we're going to be looking for what? Something, it's an iron keycard sold in glitter? Oh yeah, we're going to be being told to keep digging for stuff. Uh, we need three springs. Um, I'm not able to just, like, buy the springs, am I? <laughs> it's got to be the ones I find in here. <laughs> uh, we're going to go find... Uh, what are we looking for? Iron keycard. There we go. Yeah, just let me go buy the stuff on the market. That's what I do. <laughs> I don't I don't research my own schematics or do the mission chains or like do all that stuff. I just dump dusk on the market until I got everything I want. <laughs> um cool. So, we'll see maybe this is something we can do for a giveaway on stream. Likely we're just going to get some free plays, but hey, if we open up something fun, we could give it away. This is, uh, yeah, yeah, Glyphs and, Glyphs and Vibes free play is, like, the most likely thing that we're going to be picking up here. But, chances to get something fun to give away? Possibly, maybe. Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! <laughs> Alright, so I guess we're giving this guy away. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. Just, I, I, streaming is just, it's a wild ride. And, um, uh, clearly today's the day to buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> Gold aerospace tools from an iron lockbox. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's head back to... <laughs> buy two tickets? Yeah, no kidding. Uh, so we're heading back here just to have a look at like how to make those tools. Hey, another roll of wires. We've, we've got lots of those. I need springs and lubricant. Buy lottery tickets on stream? 
I do like that you get your stamina back if you don't get the thing, though. You donate the lotto winnings when that happens? Yeah. <laughs> I did, I mean, I've always said something like, if I ever win, um, you know, I'd give good chunks to family and friends and whatever else and then not say anything. See, this is why this is disabled on my area. <laughs> it's so busy coming back here. And I just know where things are in my settlement, so I, I really don't need building previews. <laughs> At what time is coincidence a pattern? Yeah. Um, yeah, so like we just know where stuff is, right? Like there's aerospace buildings on this plot over here. I know the most of my solar panels are on this plot over here. Um, all my training halls are in this corner. Uh, my highest level training hall is on this plot. Like, you just get to know your own settlement, right? So you don't need the building previews if you get the hang of where stuff is. Um, but we wanted to go look at where the gold aerospace pack is made. Gold tools pack. And... Oh, yes! Oh, man! You can actually make the... I love the stuff that exists under... 100 like being able to make this without needing to be level 100 is fantastic Check out the button at the bottom left map settings. You mean uh, this this button, right? <laughs> I I like um or when people are tuned in and I'm doing like spreadsheet stuff and rather than do like find and replace or like you know, sort the column by right clicking and sorting the column. We'll just like, <laughs> we'll like manually be moving stuff around because I've talked about that concept on stream before, which I think is um, not one that everybody, uh, cause, I mean, it's sort of a, a, a floofy concept, but it's basically like, don't do things the most efficiently that you could because chat is more engaged when they can tell you how to do things better. <laughs> That's the rough idea. And, um, it's always funny to me. <laughs> Alright, we will continue. 12 full energy cores! Uh, we've run out of thorium, so we've got to add a little bit of thorium here. Um, it's also very easy to do when you play, like, <laughs> we're all friends and family here. <laughs> People looking to get in on those lottery winnings. <laughs> um, but that concept's very easy to execute on in Magic the Gathering because most people by default do not at all play at the highest level, right? Oh yeah, yeah, this is the same concept behind like uh, purposely awful play in like mobile app um, advertising, right? And uh, incorrect grammar in certain things. So people comment and engage because they're... Like, why? Well, I can't believe you would spell this wrong or what have you, right? It's a really interesting uh, idea, and uh, the motivations behind it are, are kind of fun. Uh, okay, let's see. I have some things here. Boop. Um, scrap collection? Nope, we're out of metal bits. So we're still also um, slowly training up a Martisan. Oh, Baiju, this is the one we're still doing, right? We're out of electronic bits. Okay, so I gotta buy some electronic bits and metal bits uh, to keep training this Martisan in my... Um... Can I buy this many? Yeah, okay. Like 2,000 of each for 0.5. Built cheese building a hopper to navigate between Mars and the profile page. <laughs> yeah. Hey, there we go. Some of our power cells sold off, so we got a little bit more dusk there. Yeah, I mean, they were kind of building up. Um, and so now we can go run some stuff in our cantina. Uh, I don't... We're not doing these because they're profitable. We're doing these because we want the scavenging experience on a Martisan, which is like basically impossible to get any other way um 
once we get this going, we'll set up the giveaway here for those gold aerospace tools, and then we'll probably call it a day. I think we've talked about all the buildings that we wanted to dig into today. Um, I always like tuning in and chilling with people on... Uh, oh, we ran out of Baiju. Chilling and chatting with people on Fridays. We could do Summer Scrap. Yeah, there we go. Um, always an engaging and fun time. Hit that rusty, yeah, okay. Maybe, maybe we'll get, maybe we could give one of these away. <laughs> okay, today's the day. This is it, boys. We're doing it. <laughs> uh, rusty decides to pay us today as well. Okay, we hit it. We're just, we're rolling on, firing on all cylinders today. Rusty rigs, gold aerospace tools, did the other, whatever we got at the beginning, legendary composter. Ah! <laughs> oh man, that's funny. Yep, firing on all cylinders today. Oh man, that's funny. Uh, there you go. That's a Gen 1 Common Rover Works as well. Oh, you say we should open something for that Mythic for our last thing? Oh, we should be claiming things. Whoops. Uh, aren't they? Aren't, aren't people... Oh, this this 31 minutes. But I have the buttons. Okay. We can claim our founder token glitter, though. <laughs> oh, man. Cut these together to advertise the stream. That's actually <laughs> that's actually pretty clever. Oh, man. Cut the giveaways. That's a, a fun little project I could work on. Is just cut out all the clips of, like, the craziest wins. Um, yeah, we do have those fun founder token numbers as well. Founder token 420 and 991. There's only 991 tokens, so. <laughs> yes, thank you, EOD. Um, I did see someone ask about the commissary. We did talk about it, but only in a sort of roundabout way where we talked about what recipes are going to be in it, um, that it's going to come in a variety of rarities. Um, we can't really talk about it too much because it's not a building I worked on. I don't know the super depths of it, but... Um, yeah, clip every time Arthur wins on stream. We could do that, too. Um, okay. What we should do is, like, buy a pack from somewhere to open before we call it a day. Uh, packs on the marketplace that we could open up. Because we should just hit that mythic to call it a day, right? Silver composter? Sure. Special thorium reactor? Yeah, we'll, we'll, like... But, you know, high pressure, high expectations to hit it in one. I think we buy three. And, uh... I think that should be... Oh, we didn't... We only got the one. Okay. Oh, because we offered a hundred and not a thousand. Yeah, that would do it. <laughs> With glitter? Uh, I think... <clears throat> we can't do that because we already did, I believe... I mean, we could do a degen. We'll pick one up from here to, to open up, maybe. Uh, or... Here. Or... Here? Yeah, no. It's on cooldown, I believe. Oh, no, we don't have enough dusk. But where's our glitter? I mean, we could open a special pack. I already bought one of these, so it's on cooldown. I don't have referral tokens, I don't have these, I don't have all this, but I could just open that guy. I don't think I have wax, no. Okay, so yeah, I mean, I could open one of these. But this this one opens right away, we can't open it later. As soon as we purchase it, it's going to pop up. Um, so we can do that guy. Uh, but then, it's the one that we bought off the market that we really got to pop open, right? It's this guy. Reactor is better, but I don't think we can... Uh, I don't know about uh, going and tracking...
<laughs> uh, it's a good day today. I'm having a fun time. Cricket knows. <laughs> All right. We'll we'll give away. I don't know. At this point, the common rover work seems like an insult with how much stuff we've opened. <laughs> Just 10 minutes of me giggling. Great promo. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, we'll do... Well, I don't want to put the common in there. I'll lump it in with something else then. <clears throat> okay, here's how we'll set it up. I'll hop on here and we'll set up a giveaway. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Friday giveaway. And we'll do one of these, and we'll set it up for a couple of minutes. So, okay, so first winner gets a uh, common Gen 1 Roverworks plus gold uh, recipe, gold aerospace tools. Second winner gets epic composter. There we go. That way the common rover works still gets given away with something fun. Alright, there we go. Exclamation mark Ravel puts your name in the draw with a chance to win. You do have to be following the channel. We're giving away some fun stuff today. It's been a good day for winning. Uh, we, we're just pulling all the good stuff today, I guess. <laughs> A little bit wild, really. Uh, what are the odds on those packs? It's just regular odds, right? Thanks for doing the stream. Hope to see some new players joining us soon. Yeah, it'd be pretty rad. We always have, especially like new players tuning in with the chance for giveaways is like... <laughs> uh, yes. I love some of the names people are putting in on the, um, on the, uh, Good News Radio for, like, we both win something, 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 something. Yeah, exclamation mark raffle if you haven't already got your name in. Lots of fun stuff to give away today. And as you saw, really good to tune in right at the beginning. Uh, we, we tossed out a legendary composter to start the stream today. <laughs> That's a great name, EOD. I like it. Alright. Ten seconds left. Get your name in. Yeah, everyone open all your packs. No kidding. Whatever's going on today, the luck is running high. It must be across the board, right? We, uh... Our reactor here is about to explode. Um... But we don't have salts or graphite rods. Oh, we have some graphite rods we could throw in here. And some salts. Ah, yes, okay. Add salts. Add rods. Start start treating and extracting. Give us give us the uranium to put in our main reactor, please. We'll do one at a time. Don't want to bother filling this up. Oh, and then we ran out of stamina. Uh pirate radio. I have salts, I just make it myself. Just head to your, uh, head to your things and, and make the salts yourself. It's like a bit of a long chain, but, like, they're not hard to make. Sorry, we'll do the giveaway in just a second here. I realized I have a reactor that was about to explode and I need to clean things out of it. Um, so we're just gonna do some waste treatment, hoping for that uranium 5%. We've got however much salt we have. Yeah, chem labs to make the salts. Uh, hopefully we can hit one. Sure, we can't hit the 5% uranium, but we can hit, like, multiple legendaries and epics in a stream. This is the one that I want. Ah! Okay, well. No, uh, nothing there. But we did get some more depleted uranium. I, it's 6% too. Ah, uh, whatever. <laughs> one at a time for better chances. 
Well, we didn't know how many we were going to use, right? You don't want to do like five at once because if you hit twice, you won't get the second one. Because it only gives you 800 and we don't have enough storage for that. Anyway, we're picking a winner. So, first winner is getting uh, Common Gen 1 Riverworks and Gold Aerospace Tools. Whoop! All right, Sunny. Drop your wax address in the chat. Oh, I don't know if I actually grabbed Arthur's uh, wax address. So I guess we'll give the legendary composter to someone else. I forgot to grab uh, that wax address at the start of the stream there. <laughs> this is how I can tell if Arthur's still around or not, because I assume he'd be kicking up He'd be, he'd be saying something. Um, yeah, Sunny, drop your wax address so we know where to send it. <laughs> uh, and I'll write these up right away. Let's see. Giveaways. Gen 1 common uh, works plus... Recipe gold aerospace tools. Yeah, congratulations. Um I'll I'll just DM Arthur over on Discord and get his uh What's your wax? And then the last one, a big one. Um this is our epic Epic Composter, here we go! Epic Composter going to... Argya! Congrats! Drop your wax address in the chat. And we'll get you sorted. Or maybe you won't. Yep. Okay. Yep. Good. Uh huh. Drop, drop your wax address. We need, we need that thing to do the giveaways. Um, that's pretty much all I've got for people today. Um, it was fantastic hanging out and chatting with everybody. Yeah, EOD is ready to go. If uh, I love the people who they watch all the time, they know. And as soon as their name pops up, the wax wax address like slams into the chat right afterwards. It's always funny. Um, and a number of times in the past, we have had some people tune in who aren't from like they don't actually play Million on Mars. They're like watching because we're part of crypto and like we're actually an interesting thing to look at versus like some crypto uh, like up and down charts, right? Um. Hey, look at that. People are getting regolith warehouse shards in the corner. Perfect. Thank you. Um, and it's always funny to me when that happens because we can't, we send you stuff in game. So if you don't exist in game, we can't send you anything. All right. No worries. Okay. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I'm sure we'll catch some of you around the Discord later. We'll probably be hanging out there tonight, tomorrow, something like that. We might do a bonus stream. We'll see how things go. If you haven't already, I recommend you make your way over to the Discord and hang out with people there. And uh, check out stuff on the YouTube. We will have future videos coming here to explain all the different buildings that are coming. And uh, yeah, enjoy the weekend, everybody. We'll catch everybody later. Bye.